Measured Marriage again. So, ang topic natin ngayon is all about measuring foods. Yung old and then yung present. Okay? So, we will start into the body parts. Yan yung mga unang ginagamit na panukat na hindi pa uso yung mga ruler or yung medida or ibang measuring tools na ginagamit na yun. So, ano na ba ang mga body parts na ginagamit noon? Una, handspan o dangkal. This is the distance from the tip of the middle of the thumb of an outstretched hand. So, mula dito sa dulo ng thumb, hanggang doon sa dulo nung hindiliit. That is, dangkal o handspan. The next, palm. It is the distance across the base of the four fingers that form the palm. Patulad na Digit. Digit is the thickness width of the index finger. Foot. Ito yung tinatawag na talampakan. This is the length of the foot. Kung ano yung sukat ng paa, yun yung foot. And then next, hand. It's, it is the width of the hand. So yung haba ng pangyayon. Next, cubit. Cubit is the distance from the tip of the middle finger of the outstretched hand the front of the elbow. So this is cubic. From the tip of the middle finger up to the elbow, that is cubic. Next, yard. Yard is the distance from the nose to the thumb of the outstretched hand. Arm. Next, arm span. This is the distance from the tip of the middle finger of the outstretched hand to the front of the elbow. Face or hakbang. This is the distance of one full step. Ngayon, pumunta ngayon tayo sa mga measuring tools na ginagamit natin. Going back to the history of measurement, we all know that parts of the human body were the first measuring tools. At tulad na na-discuss ko nung so, but because of some disadvantages, different measuring tools were invented. Let's look at the short history of some popular measuring tools today. Number one is ruler. So, a tool used to measure length. The first ruler was a measuring rod made of copper alloy and dated from 2006. This was found by German Assyriologist Eckhard Acker. The first folding ruler was invented by Anton Ulrich in 1851. The first flexible ruler was made in 1902 by Frank Hunt. So, many classic pala ng ruler. Device used to measure the mass of an object. The earliest recorded use of weighing scale was in the year 2400 in the Indus River Valley. In 1876, we see the earliest known center beam scale used by Egyptians was weighted. The first known use of Bismarck scale equal arms was in 440 BC. In 1170 AD, that is after death, Richard Salter of England created the first green scale. Ito yung nakikita yung ginadala ng mga nagtitinda ng pangkong. Kung wala kayo nakikita ang green scale nila, nidaladal sila ang screen balance. Kung tulad yung nakikita yung green graduated cylinder, a tool used to measure the volume of liquids. This tool was invented by Albert Einstein in the year 1909. Protractor, tool used to measure the angles. Something that can be described as a protractor or forerunner or protractor is found in the thumb of an ancient 
Egyptian architect Khan, dating around 1400 BC. Okay. The first real protractors were made more than 500 years ago, but the inventor is not known. In 1810, Joseph Haggard designed more sophisticated versions of a protractor for calculating ship position at sea. This is protractor was named 3 r protractor because it had a circular scale of three arms. As you can see in the picture, so this is 3 r protractor. It was used in ship. A device used to measure time. Marami time yan sa bahay. But beforehand, there is a range of duration factors. A well-known example is the hourglass. And then water clock. Patulad nito, this is water clock. Along with the sundial, this is sundial. Ito yung mga naunang mga clock. Bago pa natin, bago pa tayo nagkaroon. Or sa o watch natin yun, or clock na nakikita natin yun. Ito yung mga naunang clock. Water clocks and sundials. Ang sundials ay according din yun sa sinag ng araw. Ang water clocks naman ay according dun sa water. Yung tumutulo ng water. Tumutulo sa tumutulo ng water. The next, a major advance with the invention of the bridge escapement, which made possible the first mechanical clocks around 1300 in Europe, which kept time with oscillating timekeepers like balance wheel. So, kung makikita nyo yun, yung rilin nyo, yan, ganito, may wheel siyang dalawa. So, yun yung nagbabalance ng oras natin. The next, thermometer. A tool used to measure thermom, uh, a tool used to measure temperature. So, ito yung ginagamit natin para masukat natin. Yung temperature. At ito yung ginagamit natin yung most of the time bago tayo pumasok sa iba't ibang establishment. Or sasakay tayo sa isang, isang public vehicle. So, uh, bali, dinitrate mo na yung temperature natin. So, ito, ito yung digital na thermometer. Pero merong thermometer na ginagamit ngayon, yung digital din siya, pero ini-scan sa body parts natin para malaman yung temperature. Pero kung sa bahay lang tayo, pwede na yung ganitong klase. Temper thermometer. Galileo Galilei is often claimed to be the inventor of the thermometer. But what he invented is called thermoscope. Yun yung una niyang na-invent. Ni Galileo Galilei. And then, the Italian Santorio Santorio. 1561 to 1636 is generally credited with having applied the scale to an air thermoscope. At least as early as 1612 and thus is thought to be inventor of the thermometer as a temporary so, ito yung Santorius instrument was an air thermometer. So, usually ito, uh, tinatawag natin na yung uh, sinusukat yung, yung init o lamit ng isang panel. So, speedometer. It is a gauge that measures and displays the instantaneous speed of the vehicle. Makikita nyo ito sa mga sasakyan para malaman kung gaano nang kabilis tumatakbo yung sasakyan. So, ang tawag doon, speedometer. Charles Babbage is the credited with creating an early type of speedometer which was usually fitted to lock up things. The electric speedometer was invented by the Prussian Joseph Bill 1888 and was originally called a velocimeter. Okay, so that's all the measuring tools used uh, noon at ngayon. So, I 
hope na naintindihan niyo yung iba't ibang klase ng mentioning tools. So for now, thank you.